Here with Junior Maria Dieter to preview the 2017 Concordia women's soccer season. Uh, you've been part of teams the last two years that have played in the GPAC championship game last year, of course, won that. Um, and you've won a lot of games besides that these last two years. How gratifying has it been for you to come in uh, to a program that won the conference championship before you got here and kind of continue to build upon that success? Yeah, it's just been really fun to kind of see, like we started, started out with a winning program when I came in and just getting to kind of progress and take the next couple steps and just get better and better each year. Yeah, we, we might have gone to like the same spot in the tournament, like the championship game, but we got better each year. Like each team, I think, progressively has gotten better. I'm sure there's a little bit different feel when you get into that postseason play. Of what can you say about what that excitement is like, and especially when you get to, to host a, a championship game like last year? Yeah, for sure. It's just, I don't know, those games are more fun because there's a little extra pressure, yeah, but I don't know, you get the nerves and kind of like when you're a little kid again getting to play a game, like you just look forward to it and think about it all day, and it just kind of changes your perspective when you do the same thing in, day in and day out. It's just a little more exciting. And, just more, I don't know, it's worth more, I guess. Well, it seems like more and more athletes actually stick around for the summer, but for you, this is this is home anyway. Yeah. You work in the, the mail room. What can you say about what summer in, in Seward is like for you? Uh, it's not super exciting, but I mean, it's fun for me because, like I said, I have a job and make some money. I get to spend a lot of time with my family, and then I get to work out a lot and get ready for the season and I like to put a lot of work in and just kind of little things that I'm like oh I want to get better at this year so it's kind of fun to just kind of challenge myself in different aspects. I know you spend a lot of time on your own too trying to get better in the summer. Are there specific areas that you tried to focus on or what what kind of has your focus been this summer? I'm just kind of trying to be a little more attacking minded so I'm getting some more shooting and just practicing like longer distance type stuff and just trying to get to be a little more attacking this year hopefully but you know it just kind of depends how things roll. Well, I, I know you were named uh, one of the captains uh, after really after your first semester at Concordia and, and then and you're someone Coach Henson trusts to, to interact with recruits that, that come on campus. What do those responsibilities mean to you? It's a lot of work that's for sure. I guess I didn't really realize how much work it was going to be but I it means a lot that coach trusts me to do that and I take pride in being able to kind of be a leader and help guide those younger players especially now that I'm older and show them like how to do things the right way and how to do them the winning way so it's fun. What are some of those conversations like with with potential incoming recruits that I mean what are some of the things you try to emphasize uh, about what life and, and uh, at the school and, and with this team is like yeah, I mean, there's some you got to be honest, but sometimes you got to hold back the brutally honest things with the recruits because you don't want to scare them away. But just kind of tell them, you know, that it, hey, it is a lot of hard work. But then you also just start talking with your teammates about all the fun times you've had and the memories, and I think that be, leaves a lasting impact on them. And they're like, oh, like if I come here, I could be a part of that someday. So just kind of show them the way, I guess. I think now when when people play this team and this program, they really expect. A tough game. How much do you enjoy that role as kind of being looked at as, as maybe one of the top teams in this conference? Yeah, I, it's fun just to know that people are like, hey, it's Concordia, like that's a big game instead of just like, oh, it's Concordia. I don't know. It's just something that you take pride in once again for all the hard work you put in so that people know who you are. So it's all, I know it's fun to kind of be those big dogs sometimes, but we still have some big dogs above us in the conference. So it's a weird spot because, yeah, you're above some teams and the other teams are like, we got to beat them. They're above us in a lot of people's eyes at least. Now when a lot of people look at this year's team, their, their big question mark is going to be the goalkeeper with uh, Chrissy Lind having graduated. Uh, what can you do as teammates to, to try to help whoever is that new goalkeeper this year. Yeah, Chrissy was awesome, big loss, but I think the big thing, just confidence in whoever wins the spot. I mean, and whoever doesn't, you just have that confidence in your keeper no matter what. I mean, everyone makes mistakes. Sometimes with keepers, it's more noticeable if they make a mistake. 
but just to keep that confidence in them that, yeah, okay, you made a mistake, but hey, next play, next game, let's go, type of deal. Now you, uh, in 2015, you were the big star freshman, uh, the fall of 2015. Yeah, <laughs> Last year we saw uh, Sammy Birmingham yep. kind of burst onto the scene. What, what did you see from her that made her such a, just a dangerous goal scorer? Sammy just knows how to score goals, you know, that's just one thing with her. Whenever you get her the ball in a dangerous area, she always found a way to put it away. That's a key component to have on a winning team, just someone to go to. And, you know, she's kind of quiet and goes about her own business, but game time and she's ready to go score some goals and help us win. So she's a huge asset for us. Now, a, a year ago, Jordan McCoy sat here and, and talked about uh, just running around aimlessly mm -hmm. hoping to get the ball and, and, and a lot of people thought that maybe that was something that you had said. How did that, that make you feel? <laughs> I was a little, a little offended just because I feel like maybe not something I would say but you know it's all right. I gotta have fun with it. It's Jordan so it was just funny. Typical Jordan. Uh -huh. and every team every year is different. I think that's something that that coach talks about too. What do you hope that the 2017 team uh, will be remembered for? Uh, I hope hard work would be a really good thing. I mean, I don't know, I just feel like with hard work you can beat a lot of talent. And we have talent this year like we have, but if we can add that hard work day in and day out, um, we'll be able to get some scraps and victories maybe we shouldn't have and just things like that that can help you in the long run. Okay. Ready for some, some quick hitters? Okay. Sort of lightning round. Okay. Just got a few of these. Favorite pro sports team? Uh, Green Bay Packers. What's the most memorable line that Coach Henson likes to use? <laughs> uh, or blue collar, or don't be entitled. <laughs> uh, who's a, a famous athlete or celebrity that you'd like to meet? Uh, me and him. Uh, what's your favorite thing about living in Nebraska? Uh, being close to my family, probably. Who's the, the funniest teammate that you've had the, the last couple of years? Ever. Uh, or, or ever. All right, well, no, the last couple of years is obviously Leah Hoffman, because she's hilarious, but now she's gone, so I think Raskett's going to have to take that role now. we got big shoes for her to fill. What's your, your favorite home-cooked meal? Mm, probably roast beef. Uh, last movie that you watched? Finding Dory, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, what's the, the last song that you listen to on your phone or, or whatever you uh, use to listen to music? Oh, the country song. Oh, Five More Minutes by Sky Hooker. What's your dream job? Dream job? Just be a college soccer coach. <laughs> uh, biggest pet peeve? When people say they're going to do something and then they just fall through. Good to go. Sweet. Survive. <laughs>